It looks like I'm gonna have my own Marvel Cup collection because I got Thor the Dark World Cup. Look at this. This is a very awesome cup and it has even the Thor figurine on it. I am Thor! Oh man, just look at this thing. Man oh man. And it looks good with the Iron Man 3 cup I got when I went to go see Iron Man 3. So here is my movie review for Thor The Dark World. Yeah! Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review Thor The Dark World. There is Thor on the t-shirt. How awesome is that? This film is directed by Alan Taylor. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Natalie Portman, Idris Elba, Kat Dennings, and Anthony Hopkins. Thor The Dark World is a sequel to the original 2011 film and it takes place after the events of The Avengers. It's about when Thor must take down this villain. This villain is so powerful that Asgard and Odin couldn't take down this villain. So Thor, he reunites with Jane, the love of his life. I don't blame him because Jane, whew, yeah, she's so hot. And he is forced to work with his evil brother, Loki. I was really disappointed in the original film, so all I wanted was a sequel that was much better than the original film. Chris Hemsworth as Thor, he is Thor. Just like how Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, just like how Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, Chris Hemsworth is the same way. He is Thor, he owns the role, he does such a great job and I think he even gave a bit of a better performance here than the original and he was really good in the original Thor also and the Avengers and the original Thor you saw him as a very arrogant person he always wants everything his own way he's basically a spoiled brat and this movie he is mature he is wise he is responsible it's amazing how much we've seen this character change and that's one of the things i really loved about thor the dark world come on tom hiddleston is loki he's awesome natalie portman as jane foster she does just as good as she did in the original film. I really love Natalie Portman. She's not only one of the most beautiful actresses I've ever seen, but she's one of the most talented actresses I've ever seen. She is personally one of my favorite actresses. She has the charm, she has the looks, and come on, every time I look at Natalie Portman's smile and eyes, I just can't resist. I, I just really can. Now, Anthony Hopkins, he does a really good job here. Idris Elba does really good. Now, Kat Dennings, she annoyed me a lot in the original film. I would always keep saying, shut up. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. In Thor The Dark World, I didn't mind Kat Dennings here. Uh, yeah, there were a few times where she did bug me a bit, but not to the point where I'm more like, just shut up. Just shut up. The action sequences of Thor The Dark World, visually, it just looks so beautiful. It is breathtaking. It is awesome. There is a lot of action in Thor The Dark World. Oh, hell to the yes! It feels like a Thor film. It is a Thor film. It has all great performances all around. Very interesting characters. Very well done pacing. Very well edited. And it's just so groundbreakingly cool. Alan Taylor, he definitely did a very good job directing the sequel, and the cinematography in Thor The Dark World just looks absolutely phenomenal. This film just looks beautiful, shot to shot, frame by frame. The film also has what's possibly the greatest cameo I have ever seen. The cameo was hilarious, and I just couldn't stop laughing. And the humor in Thor The Dark World, it has a very great sense of humor. There are misses here and there with the humor, but the majority of the humor actually made me laugh so damn hard. And even with the finale, which was epic, they added comedic elements to it. And it was just so terrific. The villain, I know a lot of people are complaining about the villain in Thor The Dark World. 
I think the villain is cool. He was menacing enough. He was cool enough. And he was interesting enough to be a cool villain. There's definitely a lot of things that do go on in Thor The Dark World. Way more, way more than what the original offer. Man, nothing much happens in the original, wow. The film really balances action and comedy so well. I really love the action, I really love the comedy. Uh, the characters were all so fantastic. This film has a great sense of depth. It makes you care about the characters. It was truly breathtaking. Thor and Loki, the way they interact in the film, they really had a lot going. And, the, and Thor and Natalie Portman, I really did think those two add a lot as well. Especially with their cheesy romance. Damn you, Thor. Damn you for getting Natalie Portman. <sighs> Thor The Dark World is one of the best films I've seen this year. It is such a marvelous experience. Get it? It was very badass. It had a lot of depth. There were a lot of things that went on the sequel. Awesome action sequences, great characters, great storytelling, very great writing, excellent sense of humor. I really had no problems with Thor the Dark World. Yes, Cat Dennings bugged me a few times, but honestly, that's not really a problem with me. I don't even consider it a nitpick. It's like it bothered me a little, but I didn't feel it bother me. I know, that's weird, huh? It's one of the best sequels I've ever seen in my life. And Thor, The Dark World, it earns my highest of the highest rating of all. Four out of four stars. Great job, Marvel. Great job. Answer these two questions in the comment below. Which Thor film do you like better? The first film or the second film? And which Phase 2 film do you enjoy better? Iron Man 3 or Thor The Dark World? Subscribe to my channel. Comment your opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!